All right, guys, so how's everybody doing tonight? Junior with SLT Metalworks coming at you. Tonight, we're going to do just a little something different. Uh, I've been having a few requests of how we go about the drawing process on a computer with our monograms, our signs, just all the great stuff that we make here at SLT Metalworks. So that's what's going to happen tonight. So we're going to go into our in, in route program here. We're going to click on it. We're going to go up here to the top. We're going to go to File. We're going to go to new. We're going to make a new monogram. All right, so there are several different things on this page here, but we really worry about this one, uh, our width and our height. This is going to set our parameters for how wide our sign is going to be, how tall our sign is going to be, all the good stuff we need to know. So we normally make these 23 inches by 23 inches. We're going to click OK. And as you can see, if we keep all our drawing in that red line, we know we're in within the 23 inches by 23 inches. So the reason we do that is uh, our sheets run uh, 48 inches wide, 96 inches long. That gives us eight sections uh, for the 23 by 23. I leave myself a little room for error as far as setting up the torch and, and the cut path for it. All the great things that come along with that. But So what we're going to do next is we're going to go to File again. We're going to go to Import Our Picture. And we're going to import this fine and dandy A monogram letter right here. We pulled it right off of Google, guys. All right, so it drawed it right over there to our page where we needed that. We're going to click on it again. We're going to go over here and vectorize this image. Vectorizing this image is going to tell the curve compensation stuff what all it needs to do. So you got Bezier, enhanced corners, enhanced curves. When just 99.9% .9 of the time we go with the enhanced curves, especially on these monograms. Tolerance is set at zero. We're going to click OK. That just copied our image. So we're going to move this one here out of the way. And we're going to highlight this one. As you guys can see, there's two different colors. There's the blue and the red. The red is the parts on the inside that will get cut out and fall away. Then the blue is the outline that tells you this is the outside of your part, so on and so forth. So we're going to drag this up inside our red box here. We're going to scroll in. We're going to drag the corner over there. And we can size this however we need to on our plate and make it just about whatever size we want. But we're going to make it 23 inches by 23 inches and give the customer all that they ask for. Because that's what we like to do here at SOG Metalworks. <laughs> So now, as you can see, we've got our monogram, and we can go in here and clean some of this stuff up, and we might do that here in just a minute. I'm just trying to give you guys a quick overview of, of how everything does uh, on this program. So we need to put a name in this monogram. So this could be somebody's last name, somebody's first name, a company name, uh, just pretty much anything. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go over here to our letters. We're going to click on our letters, and we can pick whatever font we want here. I think there's like 80-something fonts on here. We really like the Georgia font. It seems to be a uh, pretty big hit with everybody. So we're going to click right here on the side of the page. We're going to scroll in where we can read this, and we're going to type in what we're going to put in this monogram. We're going to use that right there. We're going to close that out. All right, so I need to do a little something to this before we need to go to curve compensation. We're going to convert this to curves. We're going to click yes. We're going to click off that. We're going to click on it again. And now you can see that everything is blue and red. And that's what we like to have. So we're going to drag this over here to the middle of our piece. And you can see all the boxes around it. It's pretty much pretty easy editing software here. We're going to drag this to where we need it at. Kind of size it up correctly. So we're looking for uh, right here in the end of the letters to make sure they all touch where they need to touch it. So everything needs to overlap. We're overlapping this awesome because this is an awesome monogram right over top of the monogram itself. So as you can see, the original image is in black and then we've got the blue and red here. We're gonna size this back down just a touch. 
Size that back down just a touch. Make sure everything looks good. Just drag it back up just a touch. Now you can see our parts are overlapping. And we're going to do something very special with that in just a minute. So here's what we need to do very special. We need to merge these two pieces together. And how we do that is we click off of that. Highlight the whole part. Everything is red and blue now. We're going to go to draw. We're going to go to trim. And we're going to use this trim tool and cut these lines away. And I'm trying to go slow with this, guys, so you guys kind of get the uh, understanding of what all it takes to draw this out. It is the time it takes to draw this is where all your money is when it comes to making these signs. The cutting part and the painting and all that's fairly universal across the board. All these plasma tables and stuff have a completely different program on just about every one of them. Uh, I found that this program works for me. It may not work for other people. All right, so now we've got all our lines cut out of our letter that we need, and when we highlight this again, it's going to be a different shade. So we've got blue on the inside, pink on the outside. When we cut those lines apart and took those tops and bottoms off those letters and merged everything together, the letters did not quite touch lines. Uh, so we've got to merge all those parts together. We'll go to Transform, Merge Section, hit OK, and all those pieces just went all back together. They're all touching now, except for this one right here. It wants to be a little pain in the butt, but that's okay. You know why that's okay? Because we're going to get rid of it. So we found out in this Georgia font, these small pieces with the S's and, and different things. We're going to ungroup this here real quick. Now, it should be single. All these small parts uh, with the S's, the way they come out in the font. Uh, and there's a few other letters. They All all those parts are just too small for our torch. And we just kind of get rid of them. And they're good to go. <laughs> so there you go. We've got our monogram now. I've got just a few little things I want to do. I've got uh, the top of the W here. And pretty sure the bottom, yep, the bottom of the M here. I don't like how that's uh, pulled away from it. If I went ahead and, and drug those letters down to where those touched, uh, these these pedestals get kind of small on these letters. So I just go back in. I grab my uh, square tool here, and I'll just make me a box right here. And what we're building right here is we're bu building a bridge. And we're going to bridge those two parts together. So here's another bridge here. Call that good. Okay, we'll close out of our box program there, our shape program. We're going to go back to draw, back to trim, and we're going to get rid of these lines here. And we're going to get rid of these lines here. Close out of this program. We're going to highlight this whole part again. We're going to go to transform, and you can kind of see those turned into pink. So we're going to merge all our sections together. And everything is back to blue and red. So, we're almost complete. We've got a little cleanup to do on the two letters we just changed. And that's not real hard to do. So we go to linear lines. Make just, this is just a point by point line. We'll hit enter. Enter. Oh yeah, it looks better. It looks a lot better. We'll go over here and do the same thing to this one. Enter. Enter. All right, guys. That's pretty much got it. I don't see a whole lot of this stuff I want to change. This one here, you kind of see this curve here. I, it could be off a little bit. could be just the way I'm looking at it, but we'll go back into Draw. Edit. We've got a curve to fit. We'll click here. Make another click over here. Drag that up in there like that, and you can see how you can just move your lines around however you need to and make all the good ones show up. So that's a quick way to just change that around a little bit. Still looks a little ugly. I'd go back and change that if we were actually. 
So yeah, if we were gonna if we were gonna fix that, I'd, I'd go back in and fix that if we were actually gonna cut this monogram out. Make it look all nice, neat, prim and proper. You can spend hours on this drawing program. It all depends on how OCD you are about stuff, and I do get a little carried away with it time to time. So we're gonna highlight this part. So we've highlighted it. We're going to go to toolpaths, curve compensation. We're gonna pick the arc we want, and that's what our torch is gonna do. And this is all the parameters that are involved in this torch, your lead ins, your lead outs, your torch offsets, your your torch height controls, just everything is right here in this little box. And you can set your torch up, you know, however you need to. But we've got it pretty much preset. Everything's good to go. So we'll click OK. Well, there's our tool paths. If you guys can see that it changed. You can see all the little arrows that go around where the torch is going to go. And you can see all the red parts in here. These parts are the ones that are going to fall away. So what we have to do when, when we put in our uh, toolpath like this, I like to go in and change our lead-ins and lead-outs. And I'll show you what those are real quick. These are our lead-ins and lead-outs. So our torch will actually start right here, lead into your part, come around, and commence to cut. It will come all the way around the part it needs to and exit out right here. And then once the torch gets right here, the torch will automatically turn off and move to the next part. So I like to take these lead-ins and lead-outs, and I like to move them in areas where it will not affect a straight line or a uh, different curve. It, it's You learn over time where the best spot to place these are, uh, and it makes your part come out a whole lot better. I don't like to have them on uh, thin lines like this. I like to move them down to the bottom. Uh, see how we've got a thicker area here to work with? That way, if the torch puts a little heat on that area, uh, it, it doesn't really affect it. So, so we'll move that one there, and we'll move that one there, and this one over here. It's just uh, this is just kind of a preference thing for everybody. But yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll go in and fix all our lead ins, lead outs, and we'll have our monogram ready. So when we're at this stage right here, we'll go to machine. Output, we'll send it to file, name it what we need to name it, and it'll be ready for the cutting table. We can run it to the good old CNC Shop Saber Sidekick 8. That's right. So just a little video, just kind of filling you guys in on how we go about the drawing process. I know I've had a few people ask. So, yeah, if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you don't mind, reach down and hit that like button. and Check us out. Shooter Option Targets slash SOT Metalworks on Facebook or SOT Metalworks on Instagram. And guys, it's been an awesome night. Thank you all so much for watching this video. And we out, guys.